And here we have a nice northern Minnesota sunfish. And these are the kind of fish that uh, people are telling us that they'd like to see more of in our lakes. So one way that uh, we've been able to maintain quality in our bluegill populations is through the use of uh, reduced bag limits. Um, so traditionally we've had about 60 lakes in the state that have had uh, reduced sunfish limits, either five or 10 fish limits. And as the uh, popularity of these fisheries have grown, uh, we're starting to look at ways to expand that program. So starting in uh, 2020 and 2021, people will be hearing about the Quality Bluegill Initiative. And basically, uh, it's a stakeholder-driven program that's looking to increase the use of these special regulation lakes because we're hearing from more and more of our stakeholders, um, everyday anglers, resort owners, our fishing guides, uh, our fishing celebrities, that they'd like more opportunities for large bluegill. Uh, so we're looking to expand the use of both five and 10 fish bag limits on lakes that have biological potential to grow large bluegill, but they also have to have a strong social interest. Uh, we're not gonna ram these regulations uh, onto lakes where it's not gonna be socially popular, but when there are interested stakeholder uh, groups um, and there's good potential to grow large bluegill, hey, it makes sense to go with some of these regulations, or at least ask the public a question to see what they think about it. To begin the process of the Quality Bluegill Initiative, we asked our various area fisheries office to look at their biological data. Um, a lot of our lakes in Minnesota are surveyed on a five to 10 year rotation. So we've actually got some really good data sets at this point that go back oftentimes 40 or 50 years. So we can see what kind of fish are in our lakes and how those populations have changed over time. Uh, by drilling down into that data, we were able to identify somewhere between 100 and 150 lakes that we think would uh, positively benefit from a reduced bag limit uh, at this point in time. So our next step is to go ahead and uh, talk to the public and see if these lakes uh, have the social interest in special regulations. Um, so people might wonder why are we focusing on a reduced bag limit? And the reason is because there's a good track history there. Uh, we've actually tried regulations on about 60 of these lakes in Minnesota and what we found is that lakes with a 10 fish limit have generally maintained size quality. When we go to a 5 fish limit we've actually seen an improvement in size quality. In fact average length has increased by almost an inch and we see uh, an increase in average age which means that our fish are staying in the lake longer and having the opportunity to grow larger. So as we move forward uh, through the process, what, what's going to happen uh, in the next several months, we'll actually come up with a list of lakes that are being considered for these special regulations. Uh, we'll post information at the access point so that anglers are aware that these lakes are being considered. And come next fall, we're gonna hold public input meetings because we really wanna get the public's opinion on these regulations. A regulation only works if people support it. Uh, but we really feel that through the use of reduced bag limits, uh, we can definitely maintain our high quality bluegill fisheries and maybe even improve some of those that have slipped over the years. And it's gonna benefit anglers, especially those that really value catching large sunfish.